to another Wrong Way Up episode. Today we're going to be installing the GT350 track pack wing on the RGT. That's right. All right, so that's the, the, the rule of the thing of the uh, of the day. Oh, one thing that I discovered and I thought was kind of cool, it's like I discovered it, just like Columbus discovered America. Yes. <laughs> All right, check this out. Look at this. Feel underneath here. It's going to be a button. It's a button. Push it. Yeah, look at that. I discovered that. Seriously, I didn't know it was there. Like I was I was looking underneath here and, and, and I found it. So yeah. are you impressed? I'm extremely impressed. All right. the easiest way to remove this what a pain it's got to be an easier way to remove this you know you smash your fingers up all right guys check this out we finally got the mojo on so apparently the only way to do it I tried doing it with my finger but uh, it, it kind of hurts after a while. So what I've noticed is by heating it up, I got this thing on low. And I'm just heating it and rolling it. And that seems to be, kind of hurts up because it's hot. But just changing fingers every once in a while, I think, is a key as well. Getting this nice and warm and then rolling it. All right, guys, man, this is this ended up being more work than I planned. Of course, it's always everything. Everything has been more work than I planned. Every single step is like, isn't it? All right, guys, this is what it looks like after like. 30 minutes? How long did it take us? 30 minutes. 30 but minutes. now you know you did a good job and there's no way this is going to fall fly out. Yeah, so here. Um, you can kind of see, like, I don't know. I think we got most of the scratches out of it. All this will be covered by the, um, the wing. By the wing anyways. Let's kind of give you a general idea of what it looks like. Yeah, put it down so I won't drop it. Putting it by hand as far as it'll go until it stops. Next. Okay, good. Yeah, just, I mean, buddy, you, you're not putting on a car tire here. Okay, good. Next.
Even if you don't have a Shelby, I recommend putting it on. Yeah, guys. Anyways, it was... Uh, what can we say about it? It required a lot to remove all of the glue, the residue that was left from the old one. But uh, it came out real well, as you saw. Um, all in all, it took us about two and a half, three hours to install, something like that. Um, all right, guys, we will see you on the next video. We still got to do the fender line. We got we to take the bumper back, back apart because there's parts that are coming that I had to order that I was supposed to come in today, but have not because of Ford. So um, the whole, the fender liner in here, we, we can't put it on the other side just yet because of the, uh, the fuel line that we got to replace. Um, the whole fender, the whole bumper's got to come off. There's a huge intake grill that sits in there that, um, See, you can see the, the dirt. <laughs> Can't quite supposed to see that, the cement on the other side. So the plate underneath is coming. There's a whole intake redirect thing that, that, that sits in here. And uh, this still, we gotta adjust everything again. Uh, but uh, anyways, guys, uh, hope, you, hope you enjoyed it. Let's drive around. <laughs> Give it the beans, man. So what do you think? I don't have any ID. Dude, that, that sounded awesome. So what's it like? It's pretty easy to drive actually, even with the stick. All right, do you wanna try it again? <laughs>